Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 1 Relations and Functions Miscellaneous Exercise. Question number 13. Given a non empty set X, let's start Px into X tends to Px is defined as so definition is given. We need to show that empty set phi, that means empty set phi is the identity for the operation. That means phi is the identity for the operation star we need to show. Then all the elements of A of P of X are invertible with the A inverse is equal to A. These two things we need to prove. Correct. So we know the definition of identity. What is the definition of identity? We know that A star E equal to A equal to E star into A. This is the definition of identity. Correct. So here this A means what? The capital A we need to take. Then E means E means what? Here phi is the identity we can take. That means instead of this one, what I can write? A star phi I can take. So A star phi equal to what I, I need to get A. Then E star, sorry, phi star A equal to what I need to get A. Then we can say that this is the phi is the identity of the operation. This condition is satisfied. This is the definition of identity. So first we are taking a star phi equal to a we are going to prove. That means a star phi. A star phi means how we can write a minus. That is a star b we know the definition. What is the definition of a star b? a minus b union b minus a. Right. That means here it is a minus phi union b. b means here it is phi. Phi minus a. Correct. So, that what is this phi? Phi means what? Not set only, right? So, that means a minus phi. So, a minus phi means what? A union. Then, null set minus a means what we will get? Null set only. So, a union null set. A union null set means what? What is the answer? A only, right? Equal to a. So, this part, the left hand side we got. Next, we are taking e star a form. e star a means what? Here, e is phi. Phi star a we are taking. So A star B definition using that one. Phi minus A union A minus Phi. So Phi minus A is what? Phi minus A is Phi. Null set minus A is null set union. A minus Phi is A. So Phi union A is what? Equal to A only. So in both cases we got the values is equal to A. So the identity definition is satisfying. Right. So from here we can write a star phi equal to a equal to phi star a. So that means what we can write phi is the identity of operation star. Therefore, hence we can write hence phi is the identity. Identity of operation star. Answer. So next we are taking the invertible form, right? So invertible, all elements in uh, a set, invertible means then what we can write? A star the same. There is an element in such a set means A star B. Uh, invertible definition how we can take? Invertible de definition we are taking it as A star B equal to E equal to B star A. That means if an element, if A is a element in a set is invertible, there is an element in such a set means A star B equal to E equal to B star A. This is for invertible condition we are using, correct? So here we are going to uh, all the elements of A of P of X power set as invertible with the A inverse is equal to A only we are going to prove, correct? So here E means what? Here E equal to phi and this B we can take it as A also. Correct. B we can take it as A. So now this one. Uh, first we can take A star. This one A star B. Correct. That means this A we are taking it as capital A. Then B also we are taking it as A only. That means A star A we are going to find out. A star A. So A star A means the same using this one we can write A minus A union A minus A. Correct. So A minus A is what? Null set. Union. Again A minus A is null set. Correct. So what is the answer we will get? Null set. Next step. Here. Um, this B star A. B star A means what again? A star A only. Right. A star A equal to A minus A union A minus A. 
A minus A is null set, union, again null set, null set, union, null set is null set. Now we got this statement, right? This is for invertible. This uh, condition is satisfied. So from here what I can write? So from here I can write A star A equal to phi is equal to A star A. Correct. Here this E value is phi, B value is A. This A value we are taking it as a only right so this condition is satisfied so this is satisfied means what we can write so all the elements also therefore all the elements all the elements a of p of x are invertible with a inverse equal to a and question number 14. Define binary operation star on the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the condition is given for A star B, A plus B, A plus B minus 6. If A plus B less than 6 and A plus B greater than or equal to 6, show that 0 is the identity for this operation. That is the first one. 0 is the identity for this operation. And each element A not equal to 0 of the set is invertible with the 6 minus A being inverse of A. So first one we need to do. So here what we can do means we can do with the table. That will be easy only. Easy to understand. So we can draw the table. What is the binary operation? A star B. Right. So what is the, uh, A star B? Have two conditions. This is A plus B or A plus B minus 6. The condition is also given. So this is for a plus b less than 6 and this is for a plus b greater than or equal to 6. Okay. Star is the operation and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next here also we can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you are taking it as a, the, uh, the A is along here, the B is along here means A star B. Otherwise A here, B here like that also we can take. Anyway both are same elements only right. So A star B here I write A here, B is over here. So A star B is this, um, easy only. Uh, see first one A plus B value is less than 6 means we need to write A plus B answer. If A plus B value is greater than 6 means we need to write A plus B minus 6 over here. Okay, this is uh, starting with the 0 only, right? One more column we need. 0 is also, I missed out that one. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting with the 0, sorry. Here also, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, starting with the 0 only. That means 0 into 0 is 0. That is less than 6 only. We can write over here. Next step. A plus B. 0 plus 1. These two, this first element 0. Then this one we are adding A plus B. It means 0 plus 1. That is also less than 6. Next step. 0 plus 2. 2. 0 plus 3. 3. 0 plus 4. 4. 0 plus 5. 5. Correct. That is less than 6. Right? That's why we are writing directly over here. Next we are taking 1. 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 4, 5, 1 plus 5, 1 plus 5 is 6. That means that is not, 6 is less than 6, that condition is not satisfying. Till 5 only we can take A plus B. That means here we got 6. That means A plus B greater than or equal to 6. Right. That means here we need to write A plus B minus 6. What is the value of A plus B? We got 6. Next is 6 minus 6 equal to 0. Here we need to write 0. Clear. Right. Next is 2. 2 plus 0. 0. That is less than 0 means A plus B only. That's why we are writing over here. Next is 2 plus 1. 3. That is less than 6 means A plus B. That is 2 plus 1. 3. 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3, 5, 2 plus 4, 6. That is greater than or equal to 6. Correct. So again, 6 minus 6, 0 we need to write. 
again 2 plus 5 7 7 is also greater than or equal to 6 in this case what is the value a star b a plus b minus 6 that means 7 minus 6 right 7 minus 6 is 1 over here again 3 0 3 3 plus 1 4 3 uh, 3 uh, 3 plus 3 6 sorry 3 plus 2 5 3 plus 3 6 6 means greater than or equal to 6 means a star b what we need to take a plus b minus 6 that is 0 again 3 plus 4 7 that is also here only 7 minus 6 1 again 3 plus 5 8 that is also greater than 6 that means 8 minus 6 8 minus 6 is 2 here we need to write 2 next year, 4 plus 0 4 4 plus 1 5 4 plus 2 6 6 means greater than or equal to 6 so 6 minus 6 0 we need to write next year, 4 plus 3 7 so 7 minus 6 1 next year, 4 plus 4 8 8 minus 6 2 next year, 4 plus uh, 5 9 9 minus 6 3 correct next year, 5 plus 0 5 5 plus 1 6 6 is less than 6 that is this a plus b we are not able to write this case we need to take a plus b minus 6 so what is the answer 6 minus 6 0 next year, 5 plus 2 7 so here also 7 minus 6 1 5 plus 3 8 this condition so 8 minus 6 2 here 5 plus 4 9 this is also second case so 9 minus 6 3 next year, 5 plus 5 10 that is also second case so 10 minus 6, 4 we need to write. Like that we need to create the table. Right. So what is the first one? Show that 0 is the identity for the operation. 0 is the identity for the operation only we need to prove. Correct. So here we can see that. Which, uh, what is the first one? This B, B 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. This one is identical to any other row. Yes. These two rows are identical. Right. First uh, was row 1 and row 2 are identical. So, this is identical to which one? 0, correct. Here, what is the operation it is taking? The identity is 0 only, right? This row is identical to this one for which identity? 0, correct. From the table itself, it is clear that row 1 is identical to row, row 2 for the identity 0, correct. So, what we can say? The uh, uh, which one? Identity element of the binary operation is here it is what? 0 only. So, from... Uh, from the table row 1 is equal to row 2 for the for 0 is the identity identity for this operation we can write for r1 is equal to 4 uh, r1 is equal to r2 and the identity element is 0 so we can write 0 is the identity for this operation from the table we can write and second part each element a not equal to 0 of the set is invertible with the 6 minus a being inverse of a right so what we need to do here we need to find the inverse of each element at a not equal to 0 right so first we can take the element 0 we are going to find the inverse of that element 0 only right so 0 uh, inverse that means where this 0 having the value 0 over here correct so this 0 if i am taking means inverse of 0 correct so where i am getting 0 over here only that means if each one the, we need to take the 0 if you are taking means row headed with the this 0 value. That means identity 0 occurs in which place we need to take. In this 0 where it is occurring in the first place itself it is occurring. So what is the value over here? 0 only right. 0 inverse is equal to 0. Correct. So one more thing. Uh, set is invertible with the 6 minus a. That means we need to this is expressed in the form of 6 minus a. That means if the row is headed by a equal to 0, identity 0 occurs at the first place. Correct. And it's uh, what we need to do. This is this we need to express in the form of 6 minus a form. That means 6 minus which number is 0? 6 minus 6 is uh, 0. Right. That is we are expressing in the form of 6 minus a. For each element we need to Verify. Next we can take the 1. The 1 value. Now we are in the row headed with the a equal to this a value only right. a equal to 1. That means we are finding the inverse of 
1. That means this identity is 0. Where it is identity is 0 occurs. The identity is 0 occurs at the last place. Correct. So what is the value over here? The value over here is 5. That means inverse of inverse is what? 5. So how we will get this 5 in terms of this one? 6 minus 1 is 5. Correct. 6 minus 1 is 5. This is also 6 minus a form we can express. Next 2. We are finding the inverse of 2. 2 inverse. So which one we are taking a equal to 2. 2 inverse uh, 2 zeros. Huh? Why this is 2 plus 0 is 2. Not 0. 2. 2 plus 0 0. 2. Okay. Here 0 is occurring at the 5th place. So what is the value or the b over here? 4. Right. So inverse value is 4. How we will get 4? We need to 6 minus 2 is 4. So this is also we can express in the form of 6 minus a. Next step. 3 inverse. In 3, in which place if uh, a equal to 3 is headed in the row means where it is the identity 0 occurs occurring at the this third right. The b value is equal to the or the third row only it is occurring right. So that is equal to 3 that means 3 how will get 6 minus 3 is 3 that is also we can express in the form of 6 minus a. Next we are taking 4 inverse that means uh, the row headed by 4. The row headed by 4. Identity 0 occurs at which place occurring at the second place. Correct. So what is the value over here? Uh, uh, third place. What is the value over here? 2. That is 2. So we will get 6 minus 4 is 2. That is also we can express in the form of uh, 6 minus a. Next step, 5 winners. So where 5 in, in, five, in fifth one. Where is the value 0 occurring? 0 is occurring at the here. So what is the value over here? 1. So inverse is 1. That one also we can express as 6 minus 5. So here we can see that everything in the form of 6 minus a. Right. So from here it is clear that element a not equal to 0 of the set is invertible with the 6 minus a being inverse of a. Correct. That statement we need to write. Right. Hence each element a not equal to 0 of the set the statement full we need to write set is invertible with the 6 minus a being inverse of a we can write answer question number 15 let a is equal to set minus 1 0 1 2 b equal to set minus 4 minus 2 0 2 f g uh, a tends to be b the functions so both f and g a tends to be only functions defined by f of x equal to x square minus x uh, x belongs to a g of x is equal to 2 mod x minus 1 by 2 minus 1 x belongs to a x belongs to a or f and g are equal justify your answer okay here two functions are given f and g and then uh, f and g are equal or not we need to check if now we can take if f and if f and g are equal. If f and g are equal means what we can write? f of a is equal to g of f of a is equal to g of a. This whole a belong f of a is equal to g of a. Then all the elements belongs to a only right. Here it is given x belongs to a. This, this also belongs to a. That is f of x is equal to g of x we need to prove. Instead of a we can write x. Here it is x. That's why we are taking uh, x also. That means here the value. That means f of x is equal to g of x is equal to. This all x belongs to. This a value is minus 1, 0, 1. This here, if it is equal means, if f and g are equal means, what we need to prove? We need to prove this one. f of x is equal to g of x we need to do, prove. And this, and what are the values we need to check? Minus 1, 0, 1, 2 values we are putting in f of x and g of x. Then we are verifying these two values are equal or not. If it is equal means, what we can conclude? This f and g are equal we can write. So like that we can justify our answer. Okay. So one by one we can substitute put x equal to minus 1. If x equal to minus 1 we are taking. So first we can find the value of f of uh, here f of minus 1. f of minus 1 means what is the value here we can write f of x is equal to x square minus x 
and g of x equal to 2 into mod x minus 1 by 2 minus 1. These two are the function. Here only we are going to substitute. So f of minus 1. So minus 1 square minus x is minus 1. So that is equal to minus 1 square is 1 minus minus plus 1. Correct. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 will get. Next we are going to find out g of minus 1. g of minus 1 is 2 into mod minus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. So this is equal to 2 into mod minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 by 2 minus 1. So this is equal to 2 into mod means we need to take plus only right. 2 2 cancel 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. So from here f of minus 1 is equal to g of minus 1 correct. Uh, so this is satisfying f of minus 1 is equal to here we can write f of minus 1 is equal to g of minus 1. So next uh, next x value we can take it as um, what is the value 0. Put x equal to 0. x value we are taking it as 0. So f of x is equal to 0 square that is 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Then what is the value of g of x? g of x equal to 2 into 0 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. That is equal to 2 into mod minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 only minus 1. 2, 2 cancel that is 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So from here it is clear that here f of 0, g of 0. f of 0 is equal to g of 0. For all the values in A, set to A, we need to verify. Next step put x equal to 1 x equal to 1 that means f of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 next g of 1 that is equal to 2 into mod 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 that is equal to 2 into 2 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2 minus 1 mod means mod will go right just 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so that is also equal so here what we can write f of 1 is equal to g of 1. Next we need to verify for 2. Put x equal to 2. The 2 value only we are going to verify. So f of 2 is equal to um, f of 2 is 2 square minus 2. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Next g of 2. So 2 minus mod 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. That is equal to 2 into mod. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 by 2 minus 1. That is equal to 2 into 3 by 2 minus 1. 2 2 cancel. 3 minus 1. That is equal to 2. That is also equal. So here f of 2 is equal to g of 2. That means all the values it is equal only. Correct. So from here what we can write. Since f of x is equal to g of x for all x belongs to minus 1, 0, 1, 2 we can write. So the function f and g are equal we can write. Answer. Question number 16. Let a equal to set 1, 2, 3. Then number of relation containing 1, 2, 1, 3 which are reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. That means here we are going to find how many relations are there. That relation containing this 1, 2 and 1, 3 element that is symmetric and reflexive but not transitive. Right. So here the set is given as a is equal to 1, 2, 3. Right. So the relation we can write it as relation so which are reflexive reflexive means what both the a and a belongs to that uh, set a we can write or the relation we need to write correct so here uh, how we can write 1 1 2 2 3 so this containing elements 1 2 and 1 3 right so this containing elements 1 2 1, 3. That is also given. The relation containing 1, 2, 1, 3 which are reflexive. Reflexive means anyway we need to take which one? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 we need to write. For symmetric means what? What is symmetric for 1, 2? 2, 2, 1. Right. 2, 1. And symmetric for 1, 3 is 3, 1. 
Correct. This is a set. So here it is given which is which are reflexive. Correct. One, one, two, two, three. Three. That is reflexive. Then symmetric. Symmetric means what? A B belongs to uh, sorry. A, uh, a B belongs to this relation means what? B A also belongs to that relation only, right? Here uh, relation. A if A B belongs to the relation R. From here we can write then B A belongs to the relation. This is for reflexive. This is for symmetry right so here we can take it 1 2 1 2 then 2 1 is there 1 3 3 1 is there so symmetry is also satisfying then but not transitive so transitive is not possible now transitive is not possible means transitive means what if a b belongs to r then b c belongs to r then we can write a c belongs to r correct here we can take a b so suppose i am taking uh, example 1 2 1 2 belongs to R then starting with the 2 what is there 2 1 is there 2 1 is belongs to R correct then this one 1 this 1 1 1 1 is belongs to R that condition is satisfying that is symmetric property is satisfying correct so we, so we can take some other example or should be satisfied right then only we can say that this is uh, which one uh, no, not transitive we can say right this is for transitive we can take 3 3 1 3 1 belongs to the relation r next starting with the 1 we can take 1 2 this 1 2 belongs to the relation r then what about this these two are same means this 3 2 belongs to the relation r right that is the conclusion this 3 2 belongs to the relation 3 2 is belong to the relation no right this is not belonging to this relation right so like this how many relations we can write if including this 1 and 1 3 means we are able to write only one relation correct so the option a is the correct answer question number 17 let a equal to set 1 2 3 then number of equivalence relation containing 1 2 is so same like this only here equivalence relation means the relation is reflex, reflexive symmetric and transitive here it is not transitive is given right so in the same way here also we can do first relation we can take it as relation this is uh, equivalence means what symmetric reflexive and transitive right so we can take the pairs 1 1 2 2 3 3 then including relation containing which one 1 2 so 1 2 then it is equivalence means what uh, reflexive symmetric and transitive right so this is uh, this one uh, reflexive is possible then symmetry means what we need to write 2 1 also we need to write correct so like this we can write one relation so other, other, otherwise before that we can write all the possible relations what are the possible relations here also we can do the same thing possible relations means r is, is equal to 1 1 2 2 3 3 Next, 1, 2, 2, 1. Next, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. This is a possible relation, right? So, this is a possible relation. Here, why, why we are uh, writing only this one? Because here it is mentioning the relation containing 1, 2 and 1, 3. That one is reflexive, symmetric, but not transitive. We need to write, correct? Here, the number of equal relation containing 1, 2. Here, we need to write the relation containing only, only, one, uh, only one pair only we need to consider 1, 2. That should be equivalence. That means the three conditions should be satisfied, correct? So, that's why the, the, this is a relation 1 we can write, correct? This is correct only. Next step, how many relations? Here also we need to write how many relations is possible, right? So, R1 means here we can write one relation. So, again we can write one relation. Let's, because this is... Uh, which one only all the three conditions should satisfy so like that 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 2 2 1 uh, 2 1 next uh, uh, i am adding um, 2 3 i am adding 2 3 3 2 see here now we can see this is uh, reflexive correct only symmetric that means 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2. That is also satisfying. Next for transitive we can take. Transitive means suppose I am taking uh, 2, 3, 3, 2. Then 2, 2 is belonging. Correct. Then 1, 2, 2, 3 I am taking. 1, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 
then 2 3 means what i get, I, I need to get 1 3 i need to get right that means i am adding 1 3 also 1 3 3 1 so then only we can get this is also belonging then only transitive is satisfied correct so this relation also i can write so this is transitive also why here we have only one relation here these two elements are we are including then if you are including this 2 3 or 3 2 over here means that become transitive so here no need to write transitive here we need to write transitive relation that means the remaining pairs also we can add with the only one two also we can write that means like that two relations we can write so the uh, which option um, option is not given huh? the two okay, I didn't mark that means two relation is possible number of uh, equal relation is two relation two relations possible question number 18 let f r tends to r be the signum function defined as f of x is equal to one function is given g r tends to r defined by g of x is equal to x where x denote the greatest integer less than or equal to x then f o g and g of r coincide in 0 1 so what we need to do here um, the function is given using that only we are going to find out right that means what we need to find we have to find this uh, f o g and g of g of f in 0 1 in 0 1 that is uh, 0 1 means what 0 less than x less than or equal to 1 that is greater than 0 less than or equal to 1 the condition is given right so that uh, that we have to find out so uh, here go off. g of g of f means how we can write g of f of x right that means g of x g of x is what mod x only that means in this greatest integer f of x i can write correct this is a great so uh, about this confusion this bracket we can do and uh, g of f is equal to g of f of x that means g of x is means what this word so greatest integer function so greatest integer f of x we need to take so in which value 0 1 1 only we are taking correct that means in 0 comma 1 in 0 comma 1 what we are taking f of x in 0 comma 1 f of x is equal to f of x value here we can first value we can take it as 1 value that means x greater than 0 condition f of x is equal to 1 this is the first condition so what is the value of g of go we can take go of is equal to greatest integer value of 1 correct this one continuation, continuation. that means greatest integer value means 1 we can write correct so next step uh, this FOG. FOG means F of G of X. Right. F of G of X. So here uh, G of X value. Um, uh, G of X. Okay. So here we can take. Uh, here also we need to take the interval in 0 to 1 only. Right. In 0 to 1 G of X is equal to what we can write. G of X means what greatest integer value of x only right so here also the value 0 uh, the x value means 0 less than x less than 1 and x is equal to 1 so both conditions are there that means in if it is 0 less than x less than 1 0 less than x less than 1 means g of x value what we will get we will get it as 0 only right between 0 and 1 means the greatest integer value means what we need to write 0 then if it is x is equal to this is a one condition next condition is x is equal to uh, x is equal to 1 right x is equal to 1 means what g of x is equal to greatest integer 1 means 1 value we will get right so based on this this f of g of x means how we can write f of g of x means the greatest integer value what is this f of x this one only f of x right here we can write the values that means this is equal to that is first we got um, 0 when we got 0, that is 0, when 0 less than, x less than 1, and we got 1. 1 we got when x is equal to 1. So, we got the FOG value as like this also we got, right? So, we, uh, here we, we got uh, G of F. See here, G of F value is equal to 1 and FOG value is equal to like this also we got. That means in G of F there is only one value, correct. But for in FOG there are two values. Here we can see that in G of F equal to 1, G of F is equal to 1 and 
f o g equal to zero if zero less than x less than one and one for if x equal to one. That means here only one value. Here the f o g have two values. Correct. That means what we can say hence f o g and g o f f do not coincide in zero one. We can therefore f o g and g o f f are no, are not coincide in zero one we can write because both having different values so that is not coinciding we can write answer question number 19 the number of binary operation on the set a b r so the number of binary operations only we need to find out so we know that the number of binary operations on a set means we know that equation what is equation n power n square that is the equation we are uh, using for the number of binary operation on the set that means here n is how many elements are here 2 that means 2 power n is 2 2 power 2 square that means 2 power 4 2 power 4 is 16 so option b is the correct answer